I remember when I was a beginner guitar player, I used to try and learn songs. I used to try and learn the stuff that I always loved listening to. And every time I tried that, I used to have a lot of issues and frustrations and eventually many times I failed. Now, because I was a highly determined and motivated person to learn, I kept going and I definitely made progress along the way. But what I made more was mistakes. And these are the type of mistakes that I don't want you to make so that you don't hamper the speed at which you can progress on guitar. So like you have been following in the other lessons that we did in this series, we are talking about some things that you need to avoid absolutely as a beginner to intermediate guitar player so that you can ensure that you can double up your guitar's progress speed and you can reach your goals in time with your guitar playing. So in the mistake number one that we covered was about not having any goal in your mind. Mistake number two is self-doubt. If you haven't watched those lessons, I highly recommend you do that. I'll put the link here, up here. You can click and go through those lessons later. But today's tip is going to be slightly different and maybe something that you don't really expect to hear, but you have to. And uh, it's an extremely important step in your learning journey. And this is one thing that if you can fix, I think right away you will start making more progress. And that big mistake that you're making is doing things randomly. And trust me, this is a big problem because I have also been through this. As a beginner guitar player, when I used to try and learn, I used to always wonder what should you do? And that happens, right? Especially if you don't have a guitar teacher. And if, even sometimes if you have a guitar teacher, but the teacher uh, themselves are not qualified to teach, they will also go ahead and make you things, um, do things randomly. Whereas we fail to understand that we have never achieved anything in our lives when we did things randomly. Because when you do things randomly, when you do things uh, in out of order, you cannot really expect uh, the desired result to happen, right? Because you never put in the desired effort. That's exactly what happens with most beginner to intermediate guitarists like you. So you have to avoid uh, trying to learn everything from everywhere. So as a beginner player, this is a big mistake that we make. We go on Google and YouTube and we try to find lessons out there. We try to look for uh, stuff on Google, how, you know, some tablature that we can learn. Then we go look for chord progression somewhere else. Whereas we don't have a structure in our mind. How should we arrange these things in our learning? What is the right thing for you to learn at this stage? What are the things that you should avoid at this stage? That is also extremely important. You always want to know what to do, but it's more important to know what not to do. That's how you can progress which is why experience is so important. You have always heard of it, right? You cannot buy experience. That is true. You have to go through things and learn and then become experienced at doing things. Whereas if you don't have that time, then trust the people who are experienced. If somebody is sharing with you their experiences, you have to try and learn from those. And not saying that you should stop exploring and making mistakes. You must explore. But if somebody is telling you, that they have tried something and it does not work in the way you expect, then at least you can learn from that experience and do things in the right way. And that is what I'm talking about when I talk about not doing things randomly and doing it in a more structured and ordered way. So as a beginner to intermediate guitarist, it becomes extremely important for you to get organized and understand what is the right thing for you to do at one stage of playing and uh, this could be anything whereas um, you know some people also fall in the trap of doing this linear learning and this is not uh, on you this is not on the students it's mostly because of the way music and guitar is being taught out there where for hundreds of years people have been doing this linear learning where you do one step at a time and then you finish this lesson for two months you work on that same lesson and then you go to the next lesson see these things don't work in a real world they don't work they might work for a kid who has 15 20 years ahead of him or her to learn the instrument but for people who have less time for people who are starting late this is the thing that stops them from reaching their uh, guitar playing ambitions. 
because you eventually get frustrated you you do a lot of things and for two months you're stuck with the same lesson but you're not making any progress and uh, you know you look for information elsewhere you go to google youtube you again uh, get a whole lot, lot of information but nobody is telling you in what order to learn them and how to approach learning them so uh, mistake number 3 uh, doing things randomly avoid that at any cost and find out what is the right order of in which you should be doing things for you okay so go back and watch uh, mistake number 1 where you don't have a goal in mind so identify what you want to do with the instrument and then accordingly identify what are the lessons or what are the steps that you need to take in order to reach that goal in the fastest possible time if you have trouble with that come to me i have a free trial lesson book a trial lesson from my website learnguitaronline.in and i'll help you identify what will be the right way or light right, right approach for you to follow in order to ensure that you can reach the levels of playing that you always wanted so dhanesh again from learnguitaronline.in and i'll see you at your next lesson